The big challenge here is that we have to get this out of the way. And your challenge will be getting across the Bay Labor Day weekend because the Bay Bridge will be completely shut down to traffic. We can't have traffic running on this if we're going to bring the new bridge in on the same footprint. No bridge, no problem. When the bridge is closed, BART is open. BART will run round the clock on Labor Day weekend. BART is our best resource for providing trips across the bay and we're going to be expanding their service uh, to 24 hours while the bridge is out of service. But only 14 stations will stay open after midnight and trains will only run hourly in the wee hours of the morning. For a list of stations and more on the 24-hour service, visit BART.gov. It's important to note that 24-hour BART service will not extend into the morning of Tuesday, September 8th. BART has provided round-the-clock service before when the seismic retrofit of the Bay Bridge has required a closure. This time, the bridge work involves a tricky maneuver. This animation shows what's going to happen. Once traffic has been cleared, the original bridge will be severed, and a 300-foot-long section of that bridge will be slid to the north side of the island allowing us to slide in our new section and connect it on both sides, allowing traffic to flow once again onto our new detour structure. You can learn more about the bridge retrofit work at baybridgeinfo.org. We've put a link to the site in the text version of this story. Jim Allison, BART TV News.